Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lipsticks. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Each lipstick retails for $20 at Sephora and Rare Beauty Online. I do want to read a little bit about these lipsticks on Sephora's website. A buttery, pigment-rich, soft matte lipstick available in a range of wearable shades that hugs lips in pure comfort all day. I purchased all 10 shades in this collection. Selena also released 10 matching lip liners. I didn't purchase any of the lip liners. I really wanted to test out the lipsticks. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Kind Words Matte Lipstick. Below that, you have the shade name. This shade is called Talented. I'm Underneath that you have a little description and you get 0.12 ounces or 3.5 grams of product. Up at the top you have the Rare Beauty logo. On this side of the packaging there isn't much. On the other side you have the list of ingredients. It states it has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Italy. Down at the bottom you have the barcode. Let's open this up. On the inside it says you are rare. I love the little details. Here's what the packaging looks like. It says Rare Beauty on it. The packaging is different from the Dewy Lip Balm. Here's what it looks like side by side. I love this packaging. And then here's the Dewy Lip Balm packaging. This is interesting. So how do you open this? Okay, I'm not sure how to open this. Oh, okay, so you just press it and then it pops out. There we go. Whereas with the Dewy Lip Balm, you just pull it open like this and it has a magnetic closure. On top of the cap, you have the Rare Beauty logo and I like that this part is flat. That way you can lay it down. Same thing with her Dewy Lip Balm. It does have this flat part so you can lay it down on your table which I definitely think is nice, so you don't have anything that's rolling over. On the bottom of the lipstick tube, you have the shade name again. Let's see how much product we get. Here's how much product comes inside of the lipstick. Talented is described as a true neutral beige. That is very pretty. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in Talented looks like. It's so beautiful. This is only one layer. I do want to apply a second coat to see if it's buildable. Here's what two coats looks like. This shade is gorgeous. I was expecting this shade to wash me out, but it's actually really beautiful. I'm gonna press my lips together. I wanna feel the formula. Oh wow, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. I also wanna do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see how much transfer we get. Here's how much transfer came off on the back of my hand. Here's what my lips look like. You can definitely see my dark upper lip peeking through. I guess because I applied two coats of the lipstick, again, I'm gonna press my lips together. Again, it doesn't feel like anything is on my lips. The second shade is called Creative. Creative is described as a muted peach. Again, this shade is so pretty. Here's what the shade in Creative looks like. This shade is a little bit too pinky for my liking. I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand again just to see how much transfer we get with one coat. Here's how much transfer came off on the back of my hand. Not too bad this time. I'm guessing if you apply multiple layers of this lipstick it is going to transfer a lot but as you can see with one coat it's not too bad but I don't like how my pigmented lips are peeking through. I'm going to apply a second layer. Here we have two layers of the shade in Creative. This shade is not my favorite. Let's see what the next one looks like. The third shade is called Lively. Lively is described as a rose pink. Here's what the shade in Lively looks like. This shade is a little bit too pinky for my liking. Next up, we have the shade in Worthy. Worthy looks like a beautiful shade. Worthy is described as a muted mauve. That shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Worthy looks like. 
I really do like this shade, but I wish it was a bit more pigmented. I want to see what a second coat looks like. Here's what two layers of the shade in Worthy looks like. This shade is beautiful for every day. The next shade is called Humble. Humble is described as a rose mauve. Again, another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Humble looks like. Humble is a bit too rosy for my liking, but I do want to see what a second coat looks like because it didn't cover up my dark upper lip evenly. Here's what two layers of the shade in Humble looks like. This shade is pretty, but it's not for me. Next shade is called Fun. Fun is described as a neutral mauve. Ooh, that's really pretty. Here's what the shade in Fun looks like. This shade would be great for fall. Again, I do want to apply a second coat. Here's what two layers of the shade in Fun looks like. Another gorgeous shade. Next up, we have the shade in Wise. Wise is described as a warm brown nude. Ooh, that is super pretty. Here's what the shade in Wise looks like. Again, I wish this formula was a bit more pigmented with one swipe. I do have to apply a second coat. Let's see what a second layer looks like. Here's what two layers of the shade in Wise looks like. This shade is gorgeous as well, another great everyday shade. The next shade is called Bold. Bold is described as a deep berry rose, another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Bold looks like. I wouldn't say this shade is a deep berry rose. It's more of a cool tone red shade. It's pretty, but I don't like how it looks on me. Let's see what a second layer looks like. Here's what two layers of the shade in bold looks like. It's pretty, I just don't like how it looks on me. The second to last shade is called Gifted. Gifted is described as a deep, dusty plum. Wow, that is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Gifted looks like. Another beautiful shade for fall. Again, I'm gonna apply a second coat. Here's what two layers of the shade in Gifted looks like. So pretty. The last shade is called Strong. Strong is described as a rich chocolate brown. Another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Strong looks like. I love this shade in Strong. It's one swipe pigment. I don't have to apply a second coat. It did cover up my dark upper lip really nicely. Here's what all 10 shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I love six out of the 10 shades in this collection. Of course, they're all the neutral shades. I love this shade in Strong. It's very pigmented with one swipe. You don't need to apply a second layer. I also love the shades in Fun and Gifted. These would be great for fall. The next three shades are great for every day for me. These shades are Wise, Talented, and Worthy. I do have to apply two coats because I did not like how it looked with one coat, but these shades are gorgeous. These four shades in Bold, Creative, Lively, and Humble, I just didn't like how they looked on me. I really like this formula. It feels feels so lightweight and comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel like anything is on my lips. Again, I'm gonna press my lips together. It doesn't feel like anything. After swatching all 10 of these shades, my lips don't feel dry at all. It actually feels quite nice, which is interesting. I do wanna do another kiss test on the back of my hand just to see how much transfer we get. Again, not too bad. I will be wearing this shade in Strong throughout my entire day and I will leave below in the description box how it does wear. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite and if you plan on purchasing the lipsticks or the lip liners or both. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.